Hello students, this is Suresh Awari, Faculty of Chemistry from Infinity Land. Today we are going to discuss about Nernst equation. Temperature dependent and concentration dependent cell potential is based on Nernst equation. Based on this Nernst equation, definitely you can expect a question from NEET examination. I am going to take you this Nernst equation in just 10 minutes and I am going to also show you how to solve a question from the Nernst equation. Let us see here cell potential depends on the temperature but also the concentration of the electrolyte or if any gaseous substances are present and the pressure is also plays a determination on the cell constant. And also the dependence upon the concentration can be derived from the thermodynamics. It is given as delta G is equal to delta G naught plus RT ln cube. This delta G is Gibbs free energy change and delta G naught is Gibbs free energy change at the standard conditions and R is the gas constant and T is the temperature in Kelvin ln Q. This is Q that is the reaction quotient that I want to show you and it is the Nernst equation comes to be from delta G is equal to delta G naught plus RT ln Q and we know that delta G is equal to minus N F E cell. N is the number of electrons that are involved. F is the Faraday constant that is 96,500 and E is the cell potential. We are going to discuss about that cell potential, how it is connected to the concentration. Minus NFE, delta G is equal to minus NFE, delta G naught is equal to minus NFE naught and RT ln Q. ln Q is said to be 2.303 RT ln Q. So, N F is striking off here and here striking off here. So, E cell is going to be E naught minus 2.303 RT by N F ln log Q. So, based on this you can do various numericals and let us take the R value as 8.314 and the temperature is 298 Kelvin at a standard states and ln Q F is going to be 96,500. If you take this value and this value and this value, you are going to concise this Nernst equation as E is equal to E naught minus 0.0591 upon N where N stands for number of electrons that are involved and log Q. So, here the N stands for number of electrons that is involved in the redox change of the cell and Q is called reaction quotient. Let us apply this Nernst equation in our galvanic cell. According to our galvanic cell, we are going to see zinc. Metal is immersed in zinc sulphate solution and a copper metal is immersed in copper sulphate solution and both are connected to a voltmeter and there is a salt bridge over here. What are the reactions that are taking place in this galvanic cell? Zinc is oxidized to zinc 2 plus and this is at anode and copper is reduced to copper at cathode. So, copper 2 plus takes 2 electrons gives rise copper. This is a reduction. Anode is the electrode where oxidation takes place the cathode is the electrode where reduction takes place by taking the overall reaction is going to be zinc plus copper 2 plus gives rise copper and zinc 2 plus and there are two electrons that are being lost and two electrons that are being gained. So, by taking this what is the reaction quotient that is going to be copper which is a solid zinc 2 plus and copper 2 plus and it is a zinc which is in the solid state. According to law of chemical equilibrium copper solid value is taken as 1 and zinc value is taken as 1. So, by considering this Q value or QC value is considered as zinc 2 plus and copper 2 plus or anode by cathode. 
let us see this cell potential is equal to e naught minus 0 0.0591 by n and log q. So, we apply the same thing e value is equal to e naught value minus 0 0.0591 by n log q c value. So, e is equal to e naught value minus 0 0.0591 upon 2 log zinc 2 plus and uh, copper 2 plus. So, simplified version of this galvanic cell and uh, concentration dependent on the cell potential is measured by using this nonst equation for our given galvanic cell here. So, how it is applied I am going to show you. So, application of the Nernst equation in this case for the equation is applied for this copper gives rise copper 2 plus anode, silver gives rise silver plus gives rise and a silver. The same way how we did with the copper and zinc we are doing with the, between the copper and the silver over here and the QC is going to be here copper 2 plus and uh, silver plus a square. How it is going to be silver plus a square that is very important and it is a key point to understand the value of N in this reaction also. So, let us say R node always oxidation takes place copper gives rise copper 2 plus by the loss of 2 electrons and silver plus is accepting electron become a silver. So, that silver plus takes an electron becoming a silver. So, as the number of electrons are not actually matching, so we have to multiply with 2 as this comes to be copper plus 2 Ag plus gives rise copper 2 plus and 2 Ag. So, that QC value comes to be copper 2 plus upon silver plus square because 2 moles of silver ions are being involved here. Therefore, you are going to get E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 N value take as a 2 because 2 electrons are lost, 2 electrons are gained and at log Q, log Q value is copper 2 plus and silver plus a square. And also you can see applications of the Nernst equation gas like electrodes can be used. You can see 2 H plus takes 2 electrons gives rise hydrogen. For that QC can be written as partial pressure of hydrogen upon hydrogen plus concentration to the power 2. So, that a QC value is taken as electrode potential is equal to standard electrode potential minus 0 0.0591 by 2. Why? Because 2 electrons are being involved upon log partial pressure of hydrogen upon H plus concentration square. So, based on this you can also calculate the pH of the electrode also if pH of the electrode is given you can also calculate this electrode potential. Let us talk about non stevication for various electrodes like a metal, metal soluble electrodes you can take like an example Mn2 plus is converted into MnO4 minus the acidic media in this redox change. So, in this Mn2 plus is converting into Mn plus 7. So, this is an oxidation process and electrode potential can be given as E naught of oxidation potential minus 0 0.0591 by number of electrons that are involved 5 electrons log and MnO4 minus and H plus concentration 8 H plus concentration are involved to the power 8 upon Mn2 plus. So, based on this also we can calculate the electrode potential from the Nernst equation this is very important for neat examination and also you can say about equilibrium constant you can calculate from the Nernst equation. We know that delta G delta G for a process at equilibrium is going to be 0. So, when the cell is at equilibrium its E cell is going to be 0. We know that E is equal to E naught minus 0 0.0591 by n log qc. At the state of equilibrium qc is equal to kc at equilibrium. 
so this is going to be zero this is going to be zero so that zero is equal to you can say zero is equal to e not cell minus 0 0.0591 by n log qc becomes kc so you can take this e not value on the other side e not cell is going to be 0 0.5591 by n log k equilibrium based on that you can calculate equilibrium constant it could be kc equilibrium constant at uh, uh, equilibrium constant kc or kp you can calculate and also calculate the cell potential of the following cell at uh, zinc zinc 2 plus 0.6 molar copper 2 plus and copper it is a 0.3 molar it is given as zinc concentration 0.6 molar you are asked to calculate what is the cell potential let us talk about how to calculate the cell potential cell potential is equal to e naught cell minus 0 0.0591 by 2 log zinc 2 plus upon copper 2 plus so from this you can calculate it how you will calculate i am going to solve it for you and uh, E naught cell is equal to E naught cell of cathode minus E naught cell of anode. So the cathode cell potential is given as a plus 0 0.34 minus anode is going to be copper, it is going zinc is going to be minus 0 0.76 and plus 0 0.34 minus of minus 0.76 is going to be plus 1.1 volt that is the E naught value if you take this E naught value as 1.1 into 0 0.059 by 2 and the log zinc concentration is going to be 0 0.6 and the copper concentration is going to be 0 0.3 so I just want to say simplest version this is the simplest version to calculate E value is going to be 1.1 into 0 0.059 by 2. 0 0.059 is approximated to 0 0.06 divided by 2. It is going to be 0 0.03. Log 0 0.6 divided by 0 0.3 is going to be 2. Log 2 value is going to be 0 0.30. 1, 0, it is going to be 1.1 into 0 0.03 into 0 0.3 you can take an approximation on solving so it is going to be 1.09 volts it is coming so that is the simplest version to calculate the electrode potentials by using nonst equation you can grab this type of questions from the neat examination under one minute you can solve it and also let us see one more question Calculate the EMF of the cell in which the following reaction takes place. In this reaction, you can say zinc is converted into zinc 2 plus and the silver is converted into silver. So, in this scenario, E cell is equal to E naught cell minus 0 0.0591 by log nickel 2 plus concentration upon silver plus concentration. Why? Because there are two moles of silver being involved. So, here N value is going to be 2. And E naught cell value supposed to be 1.05 that is given in the question itself. If you put so, you are going to be 0 0.05 minus 0 0.0591 by 2 log 0 0.160 upon 0 0.002. It is supposed to be square because silver plus a square. On solving so, you are going to get 4 into 10 power 4 to take the log so log 4 plus log 10 power 4 you can take it from there on solving e cell value is going to be 0 0.914 volt is the correct answer so this type of simple calculation techniques you just keep it with you and also you can calculate calculate the potential of hydrogen electrode in contact with the solution whose ph is 10 we know that ph is equal to negative logarithm to the base 10 of H plus ion concentration. So, how to take the H plus ion concentration? 
that is going to be 10 to the power of minus pH that is going to be 10 to the power of minus 10 that is the simplest way you need to understand what is the concentration of H plus as we discussed the concentration of H plus you can directly put in the known state equation so from the known state equation we can say that is E cell of the hydrogen is equal to E naught cell of the hydrogen okay minus 0.0591 by 1 because one electron is being involved here so log 1 by h plus so we know that e cell for the standard hydrogen electrode is going to be zero because e cell is going to be 0 0.0591 log 1 by 10 power minus 10 the h plus n concentration is given 10 to the power of minus 10 molar so 10 power minus 10 is coming up gives rise to 10 so you take this 10 and multiply it is going to be minus 0 0.0591 volt so that kind of complicated you feel it complicated but it is simple to answer this question and today we discussed about what is known state equation and how to derive it and how to use this non state equation concept in your neat examination and hope you like this session thank you very much and please like and share and subscribe infinity learn neat channel thank you